Hi, welcome to this short video on the fundamental concepts for understanding security in ClickView. My name is John Callan, I'm with the product marketing team at ClickTech. This video is part of a series of videos on the topic of security in ClickView. If you haven't already done so, please take a look at the first video entitled Understanding Security in ClickView and Overview to better prepare you for the topics presented here. It's important to note that security in ClickView is applied through a combination of document level and server level approaches. In this video, I will cover security applied at the document level to provide row level security using section access. Section access is a ClickView technology that allows a ClickView administrator to control user authentication and a ClickView developer to control which users have access to specific data or sections in a ClickView application. What I'll show you here is a very straightforward scenario where I want to apply row level security to my data set. The data set in this ClickView application contains sales data such as product category, shipping method, customer location and so on. The scenario I'll highlight is that of restricting access to the ship method field data based on a particular user's authorization, i.e. when someone logs in, I want them to only see sales data pertaining to the shipping method that is of interest to them. So how do I do that? Well, as the author or admin of this document, I have the ability through the script editor to create what's called a hidden script, and I have the ability to create a password associated with that hidden script. Once I do that, you'll see that I have now created a new tab that's called hidden script. Now it's within here that I can begin to apply authentication and authorization techniques to this particular file via section access within ClickView. So how do I do that? I can go to my insert menu, select section access, and I can use a wizard to begin to build up a very basic user access table. In this case, I'll just use user ID and password. The other fields I'll talk about in some later videos. Okay, there are two access types in ClickView. One is an admin and the other is a user. So I'll populate this table with some new fictitious users to show you how to implement section access. Okay, so I've created this very straightforward table. You'll see that the user ID and password are both in clear text. This is one of the limitations of implementing section access in this way, but for the purpose of instruction, it is sufficient to keep it this simple. Obviously, there are much more sophisticated methods to provide deeper level security that I'll talk about in some later videos. So now I've created a section access table which defines the authentication of users. Now the next thing I want to do is to determine which users have authorization to view the different rows in the data set that I want to provide them access to. This is called the section application portion of the hidden script. In this case, I'll simply type in a new inline table to highlight a different methodology for doing this. In this table, I assign the dataset field on which I want to apply access restrictions, and then assign the actual access privileges at a unique row level based on username. In this case, the dataset field is ship method. And then I can define the different rows of data that a particular user can get access to. So, user J Doe can only see delivery truck, user J Air, Express Air, and so forth. Click OK. Now that's the first step. The second step is to go into the document properties select the opening tab and then check the initial data reduction based on section access checkbox. What this does is ClickView will then look for a section access data reduction script when it initially opens the file. Click OK, click Save. And now when I shut down ClickView and then reopen the file, the first thing I'm asked for is a user ID. This is the invocation of the section access script. So if I type in JDoe and the simple password, you'll see now that this user can only see the delivery truck shipping method, not the other two. So what's happened here is that upon opening, the file has authenticated the user and his privileges via the section access script, has dynamically reduced the data based on this authorization, and has offered up this data subset for the user to analyze. What you've just seen is a short video looking at simple row-level security in ClickView using section access. This video was part of a series of videos covering security in ClickView, and I encourage you to view the other videos in the series to give you a more complete picture of how security is handled in ClickView. Thank you.